Well, another woman who has risen to power in the world of finance here in the UK is Sheila Patel, the co-chairman of Goldman Sachs Asset Management International. I sat down to talk investment with her, but started by asking about her experience breaking through the corporate glass ceiling. I'd like to think we don't need quotas, and I'm not an advocate of quotas. I think there are so many talented women in the world, especially in the world of finance, and what we need to do is find ways to bring those talents out. Many women may have left the workforce three or five years ago. That should not be a life sentence to be out of the workforce. Rather, if women have come through a period in their lives where they didn't want to be working and now would like to be back, we need to provide opportunities to give them access. How tough was it for you to get to the top mm -hmm. at Goldman Sachs? I mean, do you look around the room and say, wow, I'm one of the only women here? Well, I'm lucky to say there are plenty of women around Goldman Sachs. Uh, but for me, I think that uh, getting ahead or getting to the top is really about ensuring that you find every opportunity available to you. To me, that meant being extremely open and direct with my managers. When a time came in my life that moving uh, was not a problem, I wanted to be sure that I was shown the opportunities that might require that I live in Asia, that I live in Europe. I think it's something that women need to tap into. An international network of women is a very different challenge than the international networks that men enjoy. Uh, Michelle, talk to me a little bit about GSAM. How mm -hmm. concerned are you that actually there's going to be much more risk aversion that investors are shying away and that you're going to see capital outflows? People are starting to warm up to risk. Uh, why would that be? Well, uh, if you look at the investment environment currently, People have to think about equities. They have to think about the growth markets. There is no way we can bury our heads in the sand about the growing power of Brazil, of India, of China. Are your clients not scared about what's going on in North Africa and the Middle East? Mm -hmm. They're seeing this unrest. They say, actually, this wasn't predicted three months ago. I'm mm -hmm. just going to put, stay put with my money for now. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely a concern. And I think there what you see is a particular focus on commodities, obviously, and commodity prices. Some concern over the emerging markets. And yet, you look at the recent action in China, and it certainly would not indicate that people are overly concerned yet about the issues and what might happen with regards oil prices in the long term. I think it's a very fluid situation and our full understanding of where it ends up is yet to be seen.